Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to remotely connect to another computer using TeamViewer. So you first need to head on over to TeamViewer.com. The link is in the description below. And you'll end up on a page looking like this. So first things first, we're going to click this button here that says download. And we're now going to save the file. Okay, so once the file's downloaded, in the top right hand corner here on Firefox, we're now going to click on our download list and we're going to run the setup file for TeamViewer. And we're now going to go run. Okay, so we're going to do a basic installation here. So we're going to install TeamViewer to our computer. Obviously, if you select run only, which is a one time use, it won't install the program to your computer. Okay, so it's pretty handy if you're just offering a friend a bit of help, but they don't want to install TeamViewer to their PC. Okay, and obviously here you've got an installation to access the computer remotely if it's unattended. But yes, we're just going to go basic installation for now. So I'm just going to go personal use and accept and finish. Okay, so once the program's installed, obviously it automatically run the program. You end up with a little screen looking like this, but I'm going to show you how to use the program anyway. So, just going to close that for now. So, first things first, this is your ID. So, if someone's going to connect your computer, you need to give them the ID number here. And also you need to give them the password. Okay, so that's this one here, 5406. Okay. So obviously I'm going to connect to another computer now. So first things first, I need their ID. So partner ID. I'm going to type in this box here. So it's 473006. I mean 066. And then free one, so one partner. Right, and I'm now going to go connect to partner. Okay, so remote control, make sure that's selected. Little radial button there. And we're going to go connect to partner. Okay, so as you can see, I've now got to type in the password. So obviously, I've got the password, which is 5728. And I'm now just going to go log on. And there you go. As you can see, I've now com connected to their PC and obviously I can give them a helping hand with whatever's wrong with their computer, providing their internet's working. Okay, so obviously you've got a couple of buttons up here. So you've got actions. Okay, so you can lock their computer or you can obviously log off their PC, reboot their PC or reboot into safe mode, send key combinations there. Okay, so show black screen, etc. So we've got a few here. So quality, obviously it's just on auto select at the moment. See, we can optimize for quality there or go custom settings. Okay, obviously edit your custom settings there. So true color, highest quality, fast video. So you can enable, enable that. Obviously, I really wouldn't suggest doing all this because where you'll be connected over the internet, it'd be pretty slow. Okay, so, you know, why do you need all that quality anyway, to be honest? Right, so, obviously, as well, you've got scaling, so best fit, full screen as well. So, screen resolution there, show whole desktop, obviously, Move the wallpaper, or you can display it, as you can see there. But yet again, obviously, that slows down the connection. Okay, and obviously, you want speed. All right, so let's move that again. Obviously, you can show the remote cursor. So, as you can see, even though I'm controlling their cursor, 
But if I do it real fast, you can see their cursor's following mine. Because obviously I'm controlling their PC right now. So let's just turn that off. Alright, so here we got audio slash video. So see we can have a little chat with them. So I'm gonna go hi. And if I just go to my other computer quick, I can go hello back. If I go down there and select it, that is. So hello back. And there you go. So we can have a nice little conversation there. Also you can do voice over IP, so talk using your microphone, using your headset or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's, oh, just want to close the panel there, not the actual connection. Right, so also we've got file transfer, so obviously I can transfer a file from their computer to my computer. And we got extra, so take a screenshot. Obviously, we can record what we're doing. Okay. So remote system info there. So obviously, it tells you about their computer, as you can see. Connected to my girlfriend's computer, so Laura PC. And that's the process that they're running. How much RAM they're running, so memory. And also, what operating system service pack and obviously what hard drives they've got in the PC and as you can see how much free space they've got okay so there's that and then we've got connection info so obviously here you've got all your access control so what you're allowed to do obviously we've got full control of the connection so we're allowed to do whatever we like Okay, so that is how you remote connect to another computer using TeamViewer. I hope this tutorial helped. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more tutorials.